G'day everyone, welcome back to Steve's Place Down Under. It's Saturday again, it's a bit miserable today, it's raining, it's been raining oh, every second day or something. The grass, I can't keep up with it. When the sun comes out, you quickly mow it and then it rains again. So, forgive the miserable backdrop, but uh, today we've got another tractor coming in. So, let's go and see what it all is. John, who... I know personally and is a subscriber and watches, he's donated another tractor to the channel. So it's a international AOS 6, basically a W6, but A meaning Australian, O meaning orchard, and it's a W6 in size. So um, the orchard is basically a W6, but you sit lower and it's narrower. I've already got one here, it's my cousin Chains, my mate Chains, it's in the shed around there, but we've had it going but now it's locked up again for some reason. But anyway, so that'll be the second one here. It's got a blade on it, so he's donated that, plus a, a tipping trailer, which I'm paying for. It's an old Dean tipping trailer, you tow behind a tractor, but it's got wooden sides on it, so that, that'll be interesting in itself. Um, and the, he's dropping it off this afternoon, only, only soon, but the truck he's dropping it off is, is in a butter box echo like the ones I've got, an international butter box. Echo around a 71 model with a six cylinder Perkins in it and it's single drive, so he's got a little float on it. And you might remember back to when I'd done the tyre front tyres on both the cranes that I've got, or the steer tyres on both the cranes I've got. I've I mentioned those coming off a truck. Well, this is the truck that they were off. Um, you put radials on it, so Australian made Echo, they're only here in Australia and New Zealand and a couple of other countries, but for different maybe military reasons or test reasons but not 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 for any other use I don't know of but um, so this is a an ACCO being ACCO which is Australian Sea Line Cab Over and you just can argue that but that's what it does mean some say Australian constructed Cab Over um, and then there's AACO which is the earlier ones they were Australian A Line Cab Over some say Australian Army Cab Over but it's Australian A-line cab over. A-line and C-line, this is a line that come off in the factory, so those are only here in Australia, I said, but they're similar trucks to your, your load stars and that you have over there in different model inters. They're just the same chassis, they're just Australian made cab basically, so he's going to be dropping that off here soon. I don't know if the tractor goes. He said it hasn't for years. He just had to get it out of where it was and of course he knows what I do. Um, he's a uh, he thinks it should be here and I do too so I'm very appreciative of that and, and we'll just I'm doing something else in the shed at the moment we'll just keep working until he comes along there we go John's here he's turned up with her remember the Perkins run that good I've got a heap of them here and, oh, and she's been rebuilt sounds beautiful Great tidy old truck. And you can see he's got radials on it. I got all the all the old 920s off it for the steers on the on the Chamberlains. There's the tipping trailer I got and the tractor I got, which is just fantastic. And this beautiful old trailer he got. It's an old ex council cable reel trailer. It's had a deck put in it because the cable reels used to sit down in the middle, I think. to go and unload it all. He lifted it on so it's probably how we'll get it off. Whether it's today I don't know but we're still trying to do this Nissan engine so. Can't be any more appreciative, it's just fantastic. Okay, he's bringing it down now. We're just gonna disconnect the trailer down the back here and I'll have to fire that excavator or that old crane up there to get her off. Um, She's gonna make these old lacos look bad, but you know, that's, that's still good, that's still good. Grass has certainly moved up down here. We're gonna, all these trucks are coming over to this side of the road, so there's gonna be a few startups among that, and a few, uh, um, just, we'll just push them over to the forklift, a few of them, so. They do all go, a couple I haven't had going, but the rest I have driven. Nice 
nice and quiet. Okay, so I've got the children here. They've come down, it's Sunday now. We ran out of parts for the Nissan job, for those of you who've watched that video or it's coming up, we're rebuilding a, a Nissan engine, so. Uh, John's just dropped his trailer here and we're gonna unload it. So we couldn't have time yesterday and I think he wants to come back for another run anyway, so I'm gonna unstrap it all. We're gonna have to lift it off because it won't fit between the wheels and I, I don't want to damage his trailer or knock those brake lines off or anything, so. Um, we're going to lift it off, so I'll unstrap it, and then we're going to get the old steel world crane going. Looks like it's been neglected and left here to rot, but it was going just before my son was born, so I don't know, three years at the most. Um, I used it up the house to put some concrete blocks around. My property's on a bit of a hill, so I used it to put some blocks around the back of the house, and then we leveled the yard off. They were two tonne each, and it lifted them very easily, so... Um, Got this off a mate of mine, Steel World was built here in Victoria. It's got a Leyland six cylinder diesel engine in it, 370 Leyland, power plus. Um, a mate of mine had, a, had an earth moving business many years ago and this was part of what they used to use to, to maintain their equipment, lifting at Wabcos and Euclids and Terex trucks, Caterpillar stuff, used to lift all the uh, the V1271s and the V16s in and out of their scrapers and just maintain their equipment with it. So this was their yard crane. When he sold up and moved, he, he was going to cut her up and I give him, I think, a thousand bucks or something for it. I couldn't see it get cut up and it's a big clumsy old thing with no brakes, but it, it looks great, I reckon. I, I like stuff like this sitting around, so. Um, it does run good, it's got Dodge diffs under it, rock wool with the Dodge spec, it's got hydraulic brakes, it needs to be full air really, but it's got no brakes, but when we run it we just have them legs, stable, stabilised legs hovering off the ground, then you just drop them to pull her up, so the water pump's buggered on it, we just fill her up and keep trickling it into it, we'll just let her idle over and we'll see if she'll lift that tractor off. He actually loaded it with a a crane like the Chamberlain one I've got to one with the big wheels at the front so it goes to show what they actually do lift because he's got one the same so this may need hydraulic oil but we'll give her a go to start with so put it's 24 volt put some batteries in her and some water the water just rushes back out but if we can keep that up to it we'll um we'll be able to use it I have to drive it out of here. I don't know if the tyres are flat or she's just sinking. I went around and kicked them. There's a couple of doughy ones, but I thought it looks like she sunk a little bit too. It may be sitting on there, it may not even come out. But I'll try. If not, I might have to get a prime mover and tow the trailer around to it. But we'll see. We'll see what she does. We'll get her going. It'll definitely start, but then we'll see where she moves. <laughs> This water's probably going to run straight out underneath it. It's about two, between two and three hundred bucks off eBay to get a water pump for it. Um, which is hard to justify when it's just going to sit here. But that mate of mine, now mate of mine, Mark, who I've got the Albion off, says he has one down there. So when we go back down to take one of his buses for a spin, he may have dug one out by then. And I'd rather give him the money than someone on eBay. So. I've still got to buy a water pump for one of the Chamberlain cranes up there. It's just all dead money when you, you sort of only use them for content, really.
Okay, so she goes after three years. It's a hell of a thing. I don't remember how to drive her. I hope it's not stuck here and bogged here. Straight away. Just blow her eyes. She blew her eyes. Yep. Well, that didn't last long. I just pulled one lever and she popped the hose in there. What a bugger. What am I going to use now? Oh dear. Well, I don't think I've got any hoses to replace that one. Just tie a rag around it while it's still leaking so I know which one it was. She goes in under there. Oh bugger. I'm not really keen on getting under it in this hot weather. We'd be covered in oil now if there is. One of the main hoses. <laughs> I suppose I can go and see what I've got. I think I may have to get underneath it. <laughs> Which I'm not at all keen on doing, but I'll go around the other side. Okay, I'm pulling her out. I just see what I've got up the shed, might be able to match something up to it. It is reusable. But I don't know if I've got any hose to match the, the ferrules. I hope I'm pulling the right one out. Oh, there she is, look at the bastard. Look at that. How did it ever work? Such, such a soft hose, it must have rubbed there. Once they rubbed the coating off, then all the wire rusts. It's only single wire, so something off that old crane should should be just fine. <laughs> now, the other hoses had a 90 on them. I've only got straight, and I haven't got any fittings to adapt it, and it's hitting the guard, which isn't great. Crease these hoses and all. But it weakens them a bit too. Okay, I've already put, put 20 litres in. This is the old stuff I bring home from when we service um, Caterpillar equipment at work it's the old hydraulic oil out of that so we change it every 2000 hours and in modern machines like that there's nothing wrong with it especially for old stuff like this it runs out underneath it so um, I want to thank everyone for watching because this is, it's a lot of work doing this it's today's Sunday I worked six days this week we're sort of up to 70 hours a week working I leave it 
quarter past four in the morning, get home at half past six, and then my wife does all the editing, which she's filming right now. Um, and then I stay up late to watch it to make sure it's right. If there's any changes I want made, then we post. So it's a full-time job. Uh, yesterday I worked on the Nissan patrol engine until we got stuck on that. Then we started filming when the tractors turned up and now this. So it's into Sunday afternoon now, so that's a... We're sort of worn out. But it's a seven day a week thing at the moment because we're trying to boost the channel. We want to get it up and running and... Well, it already is, but go to the next level with it. So we're trying different filming techniques, different... I've got a microphone here that I've had for a while, but last time I used it, people said they couldn't hear on some TV, so it's on a different setting now, so hopefully it works. Um, I spoke with Bruce from Oz on the phone the other day, for those of you who watch him. I spoke with Jake from Diesel Down Under, having on, or not on the phone, just through email and messenger. Pete Mate and Matty's workshop. Pete, I haven't really told this to, but he's going to find out if he watches. We're going to try and get all of us Australian blokes on the East Coast here together to do a collaboration video. So I think there's five or six of us, including Dave from Old Rigs Down Under. He's a mate of mine. He doesn't know about it yet. So he does now if you're watching. <laughs> it's going to be hard though, because Pete's right up the top end of Queensland. Jake's, I think, the furthest down. Victoria. He's certainly down under. Diesel, he's in Victoria somewhere. Bruce's in between all of us, so whether we meet at his place or um, I think Maddie's further down, but not as far as not as far as Dave or or um, Jake. So anyway, if, if you if you want to see something like that, get together, comment, um, and and try and push it along. And it's going to take some organising because we're all so far apart. We all do different. Some work for ourselves, some are on wages. So uh, if you'd like to see that, please comment and comment on those other blokes videos too to push them along as well so i think it'll be fantastic whether we come here and start something or go somewhere else that no one's been and do some videos of cranking stuff up it'll be funny there's some funny blokes between them especially that dave but uh anyway let us know what you think my wife actually just said steve this is one of the best sundays we've had together in a long time she's um she's ecstatic about getting this crane going and and um, spending all Sunday doing it, so. Well, she gave me a beer. Yeah, I brought a beer down. Cold beer when I went up to get the hose. So I've put the hose on already off camera because I was underneath it, not a lot to see. Um, it's off the 6G Chamberlain crane where, if you watch that episode, where I replaced the hoses with new ones I got made. So it's not a high pressure hose by any means, but I think not that it matters and it needs to be high pressure still, but I think it's a it's a pump for the landing legs. It's not a main work equipment pump, so. Uh, I, well, I hope. It might be the main hose, but anyway. If she goes pop, it's not gonna drop anything up there. It's only a supply to the valve. To the control valve. Okay, take two, see if she goes. Well, we know it goes, see if it buddy moves.
You put that brick under the back tyre. movie's trail under there. We blew another hose on the slough for the crane, so I'm not changing any more and stuff around. I'm just going to back the trailer under it. Um, then we'll have to tow the tractor out of the way because we can only go up and down and then lift the trailer off. There's a bit of stuff around, but it wouldn't slough and then it just blew out. Good on there, John. We'll see if you get it back or not, mate. <laughs> Hopefully, she rolls, it's out of air.
Right, she lifts it after all this. blew another hose that's three she's done today one on the winch so I just used boom up and it's not ideal but it did lift it so I've got to quickly move the truck now sit it down um, tow it away then do the same with the trailer so it's a bit of a bit of a certainly a stuff around okay we're quickly gonna move the truck and trailer out of the way Oh, and blows another one on that main lift. I'm more worried about John's trailer than anything. Okay, number 39 into the place has landed. <laughs> oh, 60, 61, something like that. That's only a dream, we won't get there. I might be over it by then. Just get the excavator and push it out of the way. There's nothing over there to hurt, is there? I have to hold them chains, Joe. Just see she moves.
even steer her. Just into there. I've got to have enough room to get the trailer behind it. <clears throat> Hold on, Jay, two hands. Maybe there's enough room there for the trailer. Might go a bit more. Well, you should be steering it for me. It'll work. Better chain it down because it's a tipping trailer. Forgot.
Okay, everyone, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, hope you enjoyed that. It was a bit more of a stuff around than I thought. This has been reliable in the past, but all them hoses, as I said, with the, with the rubber breaking off them, that all this weather we've been having, all the steel lines, all the steel braids just rusted out of them and, and they're all blowing. So where do you stop? It's becoming a pile of scrap metal, to be honest. But anyway, I'll get those two fixed and see what happens next time. So thanks again to everyone that, that supports us because it is a lot of effort. Thanks for appreciating us. <laughs> thanks to the Patreon members. Thanks very much for those blokes. There's 11 or 12 of those now, which is fantastic. It's not a lot of money, but it, it all goes to helping. This, this does cost, and some of it's to do with what we are doing. Some's just for content. So thanks to those. There's a bit of merchandise left. There's only X, all, all the there's white shirts left, but all the good sizes in the black ones are gone. There's, we're getting more bucket hats in because there's been a lot of requests. And... Um, Make sure you direct messages on Facebook, Steve's Place Down Under, the same name, Instagram, the same name, and email is in the channel description, not the episode, the channel. So thanks again, everyone, for watching.